There's something wrong with the world today. I don't know what it is. Something's wrong with our eyes. Captain Dylan Goddard and some of the Green Gales. This is their last game on home floor. These guys, the Six Nation Rebels, in the way of another game entirely. Zach Bryant's going to get the team off on the right foot, though. Eight seconds in, right off the draw, goes in and scores unassisted and it is one to nothing. The lead would last about seven and a half minutes long on the power play. Dallas John gets it to go. We're knotted up at one apiece. Luke Laskowitz finds Brandon and Nolan in front of the net from close range. He's going to score. It's two to one. These teams would trade punches back and forth through the first period. The Rebels would tie it 30 seconds later, only to have the Green Gales take the lead once again. Dylan Goddard getting the job done. It's three to two. However, Frank Brown rolls off a tackle, goes in and scores. That's going to make it 4-3. First lead of the game for the Rebels. Before the period is out, Mitch Green gets another one. It's a 5-3 lead after 20 minutes for the visitors. A second period, Bennett Drake on the power play just rips this one home. That's going to cut the lead to 7-4. Early in the third period, Luke Laskowitz bombs away. That's going to make it a 7-5 game, and the Eastern Conference champions have some life. However, in the third period, this man, Doug Jamison, time and time again, would turn away the Green Gale. 7-5 is your final, and it's a 3-1 series victory, thanks in large part to the tremendous goaltending in this game and a great defensive effort by the Rebels. The season ends without a league championship and a trip to the Founders Cup for the Green Gales, but these guys can be extremely proud of what they accomplished in 2013.